Super Mario Brothers Wonder is the fresh new 2D Mario game that we have been waiting for. It's vibrant, creative, and playful with plenty of flair. Essentially, it's like Mario Odyssey, but 2D. How's it going everyone? This is MD back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to discuss with you how Super Mario Brothers Wonder is shaping up to be the 2D version of Mario Odyssey. What makes Super Mario Odyssey astoundingly fun is its creativity, playfulness, and freedom slash player control. Mario Odyssey achieved its unique gameplay through the Cappy Capture mechanic, which allowed players to experiment with different captures and discover new ways to use them. This mechanic not only showcased the game's creativity, but also gave players the freedom to play around and mess around with Cappy. The Cappy Capture abilities are temporary and are limited to its specific use, but it always keeps the game fresh and lets you try out different capture abilities to have fun with. Also, it makes you wonder how you choose to explore the kingdoms. The game is oozing with unique creative ideas and also being weird and wacky. This is just like Super Mario Bros. Wonder. Mario Bros. Wonder is full of creativity and wackiness that keeps the game fresh with unique ideas. For instance, the main gimmick of Mario Wonder is the Wonder Power that completely shakes up the gameplay and gets uniquely weird. Things get trippy such as pipes moving around, floating bubbles, transformations like turning into a Goomba or a balloon. And my personal favorite is the perspective wall run change and floating in outer space. And so much more we don't even know yet. Not only is Wonder is the Wonder Flower full of creativity and wackiness, but it keeps the game fresh, just like with Cappy from Odyssey. There are a bunch of different captures to try, and it keeps the game fresh. And speaking of different captures, the Wonder Transformations is kind of like the Cappy ability from Odyssey, because in Mario Wonder, you turn into whatever, like a Goomba or a Spike Ball, and you're granted with the special ability for that specific or limited part of the game. It's just like Cappy, except instead of transforming you possess the enemy or the object you're granted the ability so you can use temporary for that specific portion so both games have their similarities but the idea is they both offer wacky power transformations and it enhances the gameplay experience additionally i mentioned the playfulness and freedom to experiment in my odyssey where players are free to discover new things and play around with the capture ability we're currently in an era where Nintendo likes to prioritize giving the players the freedom to choose how they want to play. This style is evident in games such as Mario Odyssey, Breath of the Wild, Tears of the Kingdom, Animal Crossing, and now in Super Mario Bros. Wonder. How Nintendo was able to make Mario Bros. Wonder feel playful and allowing player focus to choose how they want to play is 1. The large playable characters and two, badges. Mario Brothers Wonder has an incredible character roster, allowing players to choose their favorite characters for each level uh, you want to play. But not only that, but the badges give you, the player, to experiment how you like to play the level. If you want to equip the parachute cap, the wall climb jump, the grappling vine, or if you want to challenge yourself, equip the invisible badge and try speedrunning the level. Or even the jet, jet, uh, the jet run badge if you want to play the, this game like a Sonic game. With so many badges to choose from, players can experiment not only for different levels, but also with different characters. Adding tons of replayability and player choice to the game, thanks to the characters and badges. In conclusion, Super Mario Bros. Wonder has that Mario Odyssey DNA, inheriting its traits like the wacky power transformation, different abilities, and overall being a fun and creatively unique gameplay experience. I am so excited for Super Mario Bros. Wonder. This is shaping up to be possibly the best 2D Mario game ever, and maybe even overall. But what do you think? Do you think Super Mario Bros. Wonder has taken some inspiration from Odyssey? almost like a 2D version of that game? Let me know all your thoughts down in the comments. All right, this will do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to give a like, share, and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. This is MD. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.